hi doctor, I have this treatment plan much improved um, and cleaned up from the initial ClinCheck where we are trying to resolve the crowding and put these teeth into a better position so they're not wearing the anterior as much. The initial ClinCheck is only 14 aligners and is tempting to approve, um, but has a posterior open bite and unpredictability uh, written all over it. Um, the upper IPR allows the teeth to finish almost in a different form of an end-to-end -end bite and all of the molar movements are not predictable nor needed for this case so they're really distracting to just correct the upper anterior so you can see many of the comments that i made to get to a much cleaner um, clin check, no molar movements, and then eliminated a lot of the rotation and root control movements in order to get this into uh, a place where we can just use retention attachments. That'll help correct, get the aligner well engaged with the entire arch, so that way these rotation movements with the canines and just some buckle uh, movements of the anterior is much more predictable. Um, we add bite ramps so that we can prevent posterior open bite from the molars passively intruding from each other throughout treatment. And then an attachment that you don't see all the time is this rectangular attachment for the lower anterior. Now, if we were just looking from the occlusal view and trying to rotate this tooth, uh, you would think that no, no attachment would be needed. However, because this root is, starts off leaning towards the distal, and in order to get it into a vertical position, we're trying to do mesiodistal root torque as well as rotation to get this upright, uh, then we need additional attachment to help with that mesiodistal type movement. Um, we could go without in that movement and go without an attachment. We would then likely need to do more IPR to compensate for the black triangle. Um, the reason for the conventional attachment is that there is not a optimized attachment designed for this type of movement for lower anterior incisors. Um, so I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any other questions.